Welcome back to Black Sod Under the Skin. Last time we found our man. Had a little bit of duel with him and we actually ended up saving him from like heart 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 attack. Yeah, that's the word. And then we talked within the hospital and seems like a decent dude. Probably not the murderer. But you never know. And now like the medicine kicked in and he's quite quite well asleep. So where do we go from here? Hmm. I really don't know what's like what's gonna happen after this. Because obviously the murderer is like at large. But we have like no idea who it is, unless, unless, somebody has been like playing us like from the beginning. <laughs> Let me just grab that while we're here. Okay, I guess we're like, now it's time to explore a bit. Maybe even tell the daughter that we have found Yale. The number of cigarette butts is inversely proportional to my hours of sleep. So yeah. Ah, damn. Oh, damn. Damn, my headphones are loud. Okay. Let's just see where the game go takes us. See, there's no fever whatsoever. He must be having a nightmare. Are you sure? Wouldn't you have nightmares too after what he went through yesterday? I know I sure wouldn't sleep. Yeah, sure. I have nightmares myself, <coughs> but those go way back. Oh, the poor thing. Do you know what my nightmare is? <gasps> it's that, that witch I have to work with. Oh. Good thing she's got trauma surgery at 12.30, but I wish it were a little sooner, you know? Anyway, thank you for letting me know and, and, and for bringing him in. Okay. You don't know how excited I am to be involved in a criminal case. Sure. It might not be important, but... I need to take a look at his medical report. Okay, maybe some steroids are involved. Hold on. There we go. Ugh. That's what you get going. Yeah, shoe smells like dead man. Deduction, what? Hold on. Let's see. Obviously, this clue is like one. Mm. Maybe it's the paint? Okay. No, the footprints don't <coughs> match. If Yale killed Dunn, he did it without stepping in the paint, or in different shoes. Yeah. So Yale is kinda out of the guilty ones? Or suspects, that's what I meant. Okay, mind moving around a bit? Okay. The hands say a lot about what's going on inside a person. How's his heart doing? Okay, pretty steady. Is that eye movement normal? Beats me. I'm not like... He seems restless. Should I tell someone? Wait, we already did that. I wonder what happens if we do it again? 
the nurse kind of lose her nerve. See, there's no fever whatsoever. He must be having a nightmare. Are you sure? Wouldn't you have nightmares too after what he went through yesterday? <coughs> I know I sure wouldn't. Okay, this is the, exactly the same. I have nightmares myself, but those go way back. Oh, the poor thing. Do you know what my nightmare is? It's that that witch I have to work with. Okay. Good thing she's got better to not to do book, this again. But I guess. I wish it were a little sooner, you know. Anyway, thank you for letting me know. And, and, and can't actually skip any of the dialogue, which is kind of nice. You don't know how accidents won't like to happen. Involved in a criminal case. It might not be important, but I need to take a look at his medical yeah, okay. report. Gotcha. Medical record next. How do we succeed in that? Can we call? And let's call the weekly. Did he get his interview already? <laughs> okay, weekly is not answering. Uh, how about the gym? Maybe we're letting know that we found Yale. Just the man I was looking for. Jake, it's Black Sad. I just wanted to... I have work to do, John. Call you later. Ronald, get on that ring! Well, that didn't help. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. You ready to blow? Is that a cigarette commercial? I guess, like, those were pretty... Normal what cooties? Dude. And cigarette commercials were pretty normal in the 40s. Okay, yeah, what's this? Join the staff of your own hospital. Recruitment advertiser, I guess. Okay, are you the witch? Interesting there. Robert Yale. Okay, let's explore a bit before. I think we're gonna have to like <coughs> get the nurse away from the desk. Oh, wait, what? Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Okay, that's a nice looking painting. Oh, that's cool. Stomach upset. Oh, is that a card? <laughs> it was. Nice. And what is that on the ground? Did somebody need to go to the bathroom or something? Hi. You're awake, handsome? Um, uh, okay. We have plenty of stuff we can check here. Cigarettes. 25 pennies, I guess? Shifts of the day. Dr. Talbot. Trauma. Right? Hmm. Intercom. Probably gonna have to use that. Rena. Mm. More list, and maybe we can. A more list, please. Grab that. Medical file. Honey, get me a pack of Morley's for Mr. Hanson.
or not. I see you have Yale's medical report. Mind handing it over? Yale's medical report is right there. Mind if I take a look? Hmm, no, I don't think so, handsome. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you are calling me handsome, so how about the date? What if you show me Yale's report and I buy you dinner? You're handsome, all right, but I'm not stupid. I won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. Okay. Oh, new deduction. Interesting. Um, okay. It's probably the nurse going for surgery and Dr. Talbot. Yeah. It seems like the Doe nurse will be assisting Dr. Talbot during his 12.30 surgery. In four hours. Could I get them to operate any sooner? Any sooner? wonder if that unlocked anything new here. I won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. Okay, how about the... Oh, hello there. How about the police officer? Jerry Highfill. Long time no see. Black Sad, I didn't want to wake you. How's the boy? Asleep. I hope he recovers in time for the fight. I got tickets! Although between you and me, he doesn't stand a chance. It'll be a fun bout, nonetheless. Not like this. God, this is boring. Um... Wanna smoke? You wanna smoke? Don't smoke or drink. No vice for me. Good for you. Smoking's dirty. Alcohol goes straight to your head. And women, they're all just mean. <laughs> well, everyone except mine. No, of course, of course. I also spot a card like on the lower corner there. Next to the no vice at all option. Are you sure about that? Not even one little vice? Nope. Between you and me, when someone gives in to vice, it's because something's missing. Something in their life just isn't right. <clears throat> I've got a good wife, a good job, a good house, a good TV, and a good hobby. Sports. Well, well watch good for you. Movies. What else do I need, eh? Black said, vice is for losers. Man, I'm bored. <laughs> um... You've got a good job. That bores you. You say you've got a good job, and yet you're bored. Well, it's just a figure of speech, really. I like my job. Is it boring? Yes, but I can entertain myself with a good fight or a football game. Well, watching them, that is. Okay. Uh, are the odds against Yale that bad? I mean, like, he has literally no chance. Are the odds against Yale that bad? The boy's talented, don't get me wrong. But stone is stone, you know? I bet half my pay, but you know, no vice for me. Yeah, yeah, we know. Well, I'm going back in. <clears throat> okay, so we're not leaving. Let's grab the card. Wonder if I can do anything with this door here. Nope. Where's the lizard? Evil doctor. Well, let's also check out if, like, anything new opened up here. Trauma. Okay, there we go. Trauma. Sherry speaking. Okay. Dr. Gregor Talbot, please. Yes, one minute. 
Um, no. Actually, Dr. Talbot won't be in until 12.30, according to my registry. Can I ask who's calling, please? Okay, so he's not even at the hospital. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's impersonate Dr. Talbot then. This should be fun. Sherry, this is Dr. Talbot. We have to reschedule the 12.30 procedure. I want everyone in the operating room in five minutes. If anyone gives you any grief, tell them it's a matter of life or death. Understood? Really? A matter of life and death. A matter of life and death. You've got to be kidding oh, me. Nice. Okay, it actually worked. How did Black Set know, like, what Dr. Talbot sounds like? Alright now, how do I put this? I need something that you have. Oh, only if you guess why I'm giving it to you. Mm, just to spite your fellow nurse. I think you just want to spite your fellow nurse. Well, aren't you smart? But be quick about it. You hear me, huh? If that witch comes back... <coughs> yeah, you called her a witch, so that kind of gave it away. And let's see. Observations. Blackout following cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Pertussis. Past history. Physical findings. What? what does it say here? Ah! Oh. You know doctors. The top handwriting is mine. Let's see. Extra systole and dehydration caused by panic attack. Extra what? You know, arrhythmia, like skipped heartbeats. Oh, what about this here? It's a good thing I know that Mr. Yale is in Dr. Ferguson's hands. Otherwise, I'd be worried. Hey, Dr. Hey, Ferguson. No means no, miss. You really don't know who I am, do you? Miss, I've got orders. And the fact is, those orders say that... Here you are, Miss Dunn. Huh? Huh? Tell him, Black Sad. I can't get through that thick skull of his. You see, hi, Phil. Mm, she's the owner of Yale's gym. Yeah, let's be true. She's the owner of Yale's gym. A woman? Whether the kid recovers or not depends entirely on her. Between you and me, and all due respect, miss, but aren't we taking this woman's liberation a little too far? Wow. All right, let her in, but she's your responsibility. Okay then, Jerry. The cop. Uh, yeah, I did what you hired me for. You hired me to find Yale. I wanted you to see him with your own eyes. I see. Anyway. You did your job. I'll send you a check the day after the fight. You can leave now. Hey, why in a rush? What's that? Is that a gun? Uh, let's check her. Oh, what? No! No! Why did you say that? Okay then. <laughs> anyway, you did your job. I'll send you a check the day after the fight. <clears throat> you can leave now. Okay, um, I guess we're gonna have to like check for the gun first. Come on, there we go. Huh, no. She's gonna do something stupid. Sonia, don't. You killed my father. You said so yourself. Um, I didn't say that. No. I told you I wasn't yeah. sure. He almost killed you in that floozy's apartment. How could he not be guilty? Mm, your father wouldn't want this. Your father wouldn't want you to do this. He was a just man. And this is not justice. Shut up. None of that matters. How could he not be guilty? Um. Okay, let's go with that. You can't take justice yeah. into your own hands. Believe me, it will haunt you as long as you live. Shh. You 
it's okay. <clears throat> um, okay, let's let's hug her. <clears throat> Uncle Tim! Sweetie, I came back from Los Angeles as soon as I could. I told you not to rush back. Come on now, honey. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? No, this is John Blacksad, the detective who found Bobby. Oh, so this is strictly professional. I thought you had some good news for your uncle. No, Uncle Tim, don't be silly. Don't be silly? Look at you. Smart, educated, as dazzling as the brightest of stars. Every single man in this city should be at your feet. Mm. Uh, 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 Come on, uh, we'd better uh, let him rest. Uh, 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 mm. Okay, that was a close one. I see. Let's say you're right and Bobby Yale is innocent. Who should we focus on now? We? Well, your father turned down my money. But he made me promise one thing, that I'd take care of you if anything happened to him. But I can... I know you're perfectly capable of managing that gym on your own, but we don't even know if he'll be ready to fight Stone. Besides, someone seems really invested in stopping that fight, and someone has to pay Mr. Blacksad to get to the bottom of all this. Please, talk some sense into her. Hmm... Yeah, it's your life. It's it's up to you. It's your life. As much as you love your uncle, it's up to you to decide whether you want his help or not. Black said, I was just starting to like you. Sorry. All right. Thank you, uncle. Thank you so much. All right. Stop crying or it'll ruin your makeup, honey. Now fix yourself up and I'll buy you some breakfast. Uh, wait. My purse. I'll get it. It must be... Black said, wait a minute. I think she needs some time alone, just like you and me. Listen, boy, do whatever it takes to find Joe's murder. Whatever it takes. If things get messy, don't worry. I'll clean them up. Deal? Mm, yeah, I'm not a vigilante, though. I'm not a vigilante. Well, suit yourself. Just get that ball to the end zone. No. Are you telling stories about the great iron arm again? Iron Arm? Wait a minute. Of course. The Milestone's quarterback. Tim Iron Arm <laughs> Thorpe. <laughs> it's a good thing folks usually recognize me sooner. Black said, you coming to breakfast? I'd love to, but I have to go ask for a favor. Jerry can't be trusted. What? What's that about? Interesting. The investigation required that I ask Jake for a small favor. Or demand it, if worse came to worst. Hey, I think we have a new deduction here. Okay, let's talk for a bit about that sequence, like... Sonya was about to kill Yale, like, straight up shoot, shoot him, which, which she actually did, like, first time. <laughs> then, this Tim Thorpe appeared, and wonder what's his role in this. He just, like, he says that he wants us to find the truth, but why? Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, the panic attack is new. Dr. Ferguson. It's probably have something to do with this panic attack. Uh, 
and probably the doctor. And resting. Oh, nice. <laughs> huh. That lizard isn't Yale's doctor. Oh, that actually is a good point. Who's the guy passing for Yale's doctor? True. <clears throat> Who are you, lizard? Never trust a lizard, it seems. Okay, um... So I wonder if the lizard actually, like... Maybe he works for O'Leary. Hmm. Or, like... Maybe he was spying for... Uh, what was his name? Uh, the Victor Stone's... Wait, Victor Stone is cyber from DC Universe. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's, like... There we go. There's the book. Uh, was it Eugene? No. Frank Cassidy was Stone's manager. Al Stone, yeah. Maybe the lizard aka fake doctor works for Cassidy and maybe he was like checking out how Yale is doing regarding the fight okay do we ring the bell no Jake, I need to talk to you. Mind coming down for a sec? <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's it. The lizard is spying like for Cassidy. Okay. How do we Oh there we go? see what do we have in here not the smartest cookie in the jar nor the most tactful but do <clears> I trust <throat> him no do I consider him a friend yes don't trust your friends who is this other dude okay and check him I hope he never feels inclined to hit me he's twice my size Anything in... He's been training with those same shorts for who knows how long. Hey, that's about it. Hey, Jake. Not now, John. Really? Hey, Jake. Damn it! Wait a minute. Is there like anything new? No, okay, we just have to keep calling. Hey, Jake. Damn it! Wait a minute. Hey, Jake. I said not now. Hey, Jake. I said not now. Hey, Jake. I said not now. Okay, so th this isn't going anywhere. Let's check this other person. How many hits does a boxer take to the head throughout his career? Interesting question. Probably a lot. This one's got extra padding, just like Jake. Was that the laughter I heard? Like said, were you laughing? This one's got extra okay, that was the same. like Jake. What else can we examine? Whoa, what's that on your elbow? I mean, knuckle. Okay, that's something we've already seen.
This one's got extra padding, what? just like Jake. Why doesn't it disappear? Hey, hi. Hey, focus, will you? Hey, hi. Okay, uh, maybe Jake has... Oh, the bell. There we go. All right, that's enough. Hmm. Take five. Go on. Why are your knuckles bruised? That's suspicious. What, John? What's so important? Everything. And why are you coaching that guy? Why are you coaching that guy? Oh, that's right. You don't know. Sonya asked me to run the gym. Well, at least the fun part. As soon as Bobby yells back on his feet, I'll turn him into a champ. I'll make him crush stone. <clears throat> Just you wait. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, have you ever been a coach before? Is it the first time you coached anyone? Yeah, but uh, you think I can't do this, don't you? No, absolutely not. Well, screw oh. you. Okay. We'll win that fight. Um, have you noticed anything strange about Sonia? Have you noticed anything strange about Sonia? I really love I that. I don't know. Yesterday she said she hated the gym. But it also seemed like she wanted to save the place. Do you get any of this? I sure don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She really loved her father because she was ready to kill because of it. It might not have seemed that way. Yeah. But she loved her dad. Believe me. I've got reasons to be certain. Okay. Uh, where's O'Leary's HQ? Could you tell me where O'Leary's headquarters are? Uh, what for? No, no, no. You could get me into trouble. No way. Don't be like that, Jake. Uh, you owe me. Let's go with you that. You lied to me yesterday. And being the good friend that I am, I kept your secret. You owe me. I don't think I'd keep protecting you if we weren't friends. Although, if we were friends, you wouldn't hesitate to help me. Tell me, Jake. Are we friends or not? Damned cat. All right. O'Leary's hideout is in the basement of a Chinese restaurant. But I don't even know how to get in. Well, I'll see you tonight. Wait, were we supposed to meet? Of course. Your place, 11 p.m. See you there. What? Ronald, the break's over. After 30 hours of work and several beatings, every bone in my body ached for a bed. Now it's my turn. So I went home to recharge. <clears throat> because the night ahead was bound to be promising. I bet. Ronald is the bear's name. Maybe... I bet he's like... His knuckles were like bruised, wasn't it? At least it seemed like that. Maybe he is connected to this somehow? What do you know about that basement? Well, let me think. Not then? Come on, Jake, for Christ's sake. Mm. Okay, strain the brain of yours. Strain that little boxer brain. You must know something. I've come to get O'Leary several times, but they always make me wait in that dining room. One day it was so late <coughs> that the restaurant was closed. They made me call from a payphone in that alley over there to let them know I was here. A few minutes later, O'Leary came out the back door. That red one there. All right. You stay by the payphone. Wait until I'm inside. If you see anyone, call the same number you did that one time. Let it ring twice and hang up. Got it? Screw you! Oh, really? A promising night indeed. Okay. Guess we're going into a restaurant then. There really should be like some kind of sprint. They didn't mean to do that. Like 
at least walk faster or something. That's a dark alley. Do you have anything in it? There's a card somewhere around here. I just know it. Hold on. A bit too high to climb. If the basement I'm looking for were in that building. Okay. Interesting. You're in on Leong Tong territory. Ominous. There's the door. There we go. I knew that there was a card somewhere. Okay. This looks like a place of entry. Could it be an elevator shaft? How does this thing open? If I'm right, and this is a service elevator, it could be my gateway. Okay, yeah. yeah. What happened? Should we run for it? Do I look like I'm in a hurry? Uh, let's see. Yeah, what What about the graffiti? What do you know about, about it? that graffiti. You're in On Leon Tong territory. Wow. I thought the Tong Wars had ended years ago. Maybe someone nostalgic just got <clears> bored. <throat> Damn Chinese mafias. Yeah. American mafias are infinitely better, no doubt. Are you done? What do you think? Mm, there's a trap door. What do you know about that? There's a trap door on the ground, right by the restaurant. Does that sound familiar? Huh? The, the restaurant or the trap door? Okay. Forget it. What's wow, taking Jake. you so long? You want to switch places? Okay, I'm going back to the alley. I'll let you know if I need anything. Oh, another card. They're the, in weirdest places. Okay, there's definitely nothing in there. I guess the only option is go to the door. See what that does. There's a doorbell though. Okay, let's go out first. I'm guessing it lights up when they ring at the main door. <laughs> Stupid rabbit. Okay, there's a shotgun. Does he need a shotgun to deal with suppliers? Yeah, it's guarded. <laughs> Could he even notice if I got in? Yeah, probably not. Something tells me he'd notice me no matter how stealthy I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Must be a good show he's watching. Maybe it leads to the basement. Or maybe this is the way downstairs, <laughs> not that door over there. <laughs> Stupid coyote! Interesting. Um, are you watching Roadrunner? Because of Coyote? Oh, oh Doc. Interesting. Wonder what happens if we ring the doorbell? Should we find out? I think we should. No. The plan no. will only work if O'Leary doesn't know I've been here. Okay, we're not ringing the doorbell. <laughs> um, maybe Jake can help us with something. What? Um, hey, there's someone watching the TV. There's a guy watching TV inside the restaurant. A red panda, I think. Doesn't ring a bell. I don't recall any panda waiters. Eh? Okay. Uh, okay, how about, should I take the door or the hallway? I've seen two possible ways to access the basement, but... You really think I can help you with that? Okay. Uh, how about if you ring the doorbell? I need you to go to the front door and ring the bell. All right, is there a bar in that alley? Have you been drinking? Count to 30. Ring the bell, then run for the car. Got it? Whoa, you better send a bunch <clears throat> of Italians my way after oh. this. So, 
Now what are you gonna do? I'll open the door with my lockpicks. Once I'm in, I'm still not sure if I'll take the hall or the door on the right. Okay, I think and I went through the hallway, so maybe it's the door. Okay, there's a timer. Okay, there's also a bunch of cards in here. The lock on that door was not your standard model. I had to give it my all. Okay, made it. Damn, that timer was breathing down my neck there. This is really dark. Oh, there we go. Find the source of light before the lighter runs out. Okay, sure. That doesn't help. And there's something on there. Hold on. It, was it on the shelves? Okay, there was a card. There's a door. Just mashing my buttons here. Okay, that was the card. Is there like anything else here? No? Okay, this is like really confusing. Some answers only come to you when it's far too late. Okay, that didn't help me at all. Um, oh, we can actually move the light around for a bit. Okay, that's, that might actually help. something on the table. Aha! Okay, we have a flashlight. Use right stick to point your flashlight and enable new hotspots. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, there's a door. Okay, what was there? Why do they have so many paper notes? Do they get that many orders? Probably some kind of orders. Might not be what you think, Black Sod. Are they carpeting the floors? Any okay, carpets? And... Oh, it's dark. Okay, there's the door. Yeah, too close to the door, I think. There we go. Is that like a freezer? Or the basement? Probably the basement. Oh, it was a freezer. Okay. <coughs> Noodles? Huh. I was expecting some frozen bodies. Well, that's grim. Hmm. Secret door? <coughs> it won't budge. 
Still won't budge. Wonder if there's anything else. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, nice. A lever. Maybe now it will move. here you sure you want to do that since you don't know how to get back okay there's the odd, odds on the fight boxing main fight the odds are incredibly in stone's favor i guess that he's the reigning champion and bobby yale is just a contender but Maybe word got out about his condition. Maybe there's still like some sort of cheating going on, like O'Leary probably knows that Yale could beat Stone and because Yale is such an underdog that would make a lot of money if you bet on Yale. So that's why O'Leary is interested, like, helping us and getting Yale ready for the fight. Okay, so the hmm. little notes are like bidding slips for customers. Yeah. They come to the restaurant and instead of ordering food. Huh. Looks yeah. like those colorful notes weren't restaurant <coughs> orders after all. There's one on each table. Except this one. Must be the must be like O'Leary's table. New York. Chicago. Does O'Leary have a network of pals? Ties with Chicago Mafia. Oh, that's an aquarium. Okay, what do we have here? Wow. I didn't realize you could place so many bets on a single baseball game. There's the special table. Wild berries. It's a password for something. Gambling password, okay. We're probably gonna need that at some point. Now what do we have here? Well, that didn't do anything. 16 days until the fight. Sometimes I forget that criminals, even the office variety, have family and kids. Lucky them. Anyway, maybe things aren't so bad on the dark side. Maybe, maybe. Uh, let's check the machine first. I love the thing that adds on its own. What will they think of next? Is that like adva advanced calculator? It looks like a summary of all the bets that come in. Day, amount, bet, wagerer. Wait a minute, did O'Leary himself bet five grand on Yale? I knew it. He knows that Yale can take him. Is there something else in here? Okay, no. O'Leary knows. Who is this like O'Leary's office? This suspicious painting.
Could that be Ireland? <laughs> could be, it could be, my friend. About this painting. It's like aiming, aiming with this flashlight is like really, really hard at I'd times. I'd say that's Ireland too. Okay, Black Sod. Whatever you say. You're the d detective here. Uh, hold on. So many A's. Let's check this first. Upper drawer. Even Dunn had a gun in his office. O'Leary couldn't possibly be the exception. Makes sense. <clears throat> How about the lower one? Dunn had $200 in his safe. O'Leary had about 20000 in a drawer. Damn. Wait, what about the picture? You're not gonna look that? What do we have, like, back here? In the safe. A crossler? The good news is... I don't need lockpicks to open it. The bad news, I didn't bring explosives. Okay, so you're not gonna open the safe, I assume. Oh, what's there? Oh, you turned on the lamp, okay. Okay, some more paintings. Ireland, of course. This guy's obsessed. Obsessed? Well, maybe he is from Ireland and he just wants paintings that remind him of home? Where is that prompt? Okay, actually, I'm gonna close the light. Let's leave no evidence. What's this? Oh, okay. It was just a light. The painting concealed file after file of celebrity reports with all sorts of shady information, ranging from S to Z. Almost all of them were athletes. Is that what O'Leary meant when he said that detectives and <clears throat> police officers were his friends? I wonder how many spy for him. If I were to pitch in, who would I spy on? Mm. Okay, let's check the stones. According to Stone's report, he was so clean, not to mention hard to corrupt, that O'Leary opted for a more subtle strategy. Apparently, when he broke up with the tennis player Helen Moore, he set her up with Stone. Lucky for him, they hit it off. As I put away the report, I stopped in my tracks. Did I really want to risk knowing what O'Leary had on my good friend, the incorruptible police commissioner? Yeah, let's trust. To be honest, if Smirnov had anything to hide, I'd rather not know about it. Yeah, let's trust him. And what about Bobby Yale? In Bobby Yale's folder, all I found was a log of his incredible stats as an aspiring champion. 20 victories, 16 by knockout. Although, at the end of the report, someone had underlined one word several times. Untouchable. Untouchable? I bet that's like some kind of mafia language. Yeah, all it is untouchables. Tim okay. Thorpe. Thorpe had been a rising football star before the war, which he came back from with honors and decorations. After the truce, he resumed his career. He won three season trophies and a couple of MVP awards. He retired after an accident that left him paralyzed from the waist down. He started his own sports advertising agency four years ago, but according to the files, O'Leary hadn't even tried to corrupt him. Hey, maybe he's like... 
Maybe he's the boss? Like O'Leary's boss? That's a possibility. Hold on, what's here? More drawers? Avenarius poems? That's Yale's dad, isn't it? Limited edition copy two of three. We listen, if you call it listening, to the sentimental romance. Your eyes act like the moon. Wasn't that like... Let me know in the comments. Wasn't that like Yale's dad, Abe Nemius or whatever? If they're not together anymore, why does O'Leary keep so many pictures of romantic moments with Helen Moore? Okay, maybe O'Leary set Helen with stone to mess with him so that so that, like, he would be off his game in the fight. Who knows? Okay, there's another. Another secret shell. Luckily or not, files in through R included no one that I could somehow connect to the case. Okay, so there's, like, one behind every painting. Zoom. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, Avenarius. Let's check that first. <clears throat> Maybe O'Leary knows why he disappeared. The report on Yale's father was the shortest of all, since only his name was left. Why? Empty report. Interesting. Okay, uh, what about Don? Don's integrity was legendary. Even in O'Leary's shady reports, just like Yale had said. Dunn had kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym when he found him snooping around. Yeah, makes sense. So Dunn was like... Pure till the end. Okay, Frank Cassidy, the walrus. Cassidy's report was possibly the longest among all of O'Leary's files. Apparently, their rivalry went way back. So much so that they spied on each other in the most unthinkable ways. At least I was able to confirm what Yale had told me. Cassidy had threatened Dunn after he refused to join the manager's union. Yeah, Cassidy is like the most suspicious so far. Some serious sus. Pardon my Among Us. Okay, what about the last one? Is there like Black Sad's folder? Oh, probably not. Yeah, okay, Helen Moore. Black Sad's would, would have been in the earlier one. Helen Moore's file was, by far, one of the juiciest. She had been just a run-of-the-mill <coughs> tennis player until O'Leary launched her career by rigging enough games to help her climb the ranking. However, O'Leary hadn't fixed any of her games in over a year. In spite of that, she remained undefeated. Be as it may, it was clear that O'Leary had enough information to ruin her career. Yeah. Maybe she was actually good enough player or maybe everyone was scared of winning her okay Jake what you hiding buddy strange as it may seem the reports reveal that O'Leary had hired Jake as a bodyguard precisely because he was absolutely clean 
Apparently, he liked to surround himself with honest people when he mingled with the high society. Okay, so Jake is... There's nothing wrong with Jake. I'm glad that we got a confirmation on that. Okay, new deduction. This should be interesting. There's like... O'Leary has enough information to ruin Moore's career. That's why Moore seduced Stone. Yeah. I'd say O'Leary has threatened Stone with ruining Moore's career. Or that way around. I was like. Pretty much the same thing, but no. Oh, what's happening? Jake. Someone was coming. Okay. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jimmy? Here it is, middle of the night. Damn it. Well, darn it. <laughs> okay. That was failure. Let's try this again. So it's left. Jake. Probably the right right direction. Someone was coming. Are we or are we not exemplary workers, Jimmy? Here it is, middle of the night. And we're working extra hours. Hey, Jimmy, what do you think about that? I think he's scared stiff, Desmond. <laughs> Why's that, Jimmy? We're giving you the red carpet treatment. We even let you in the boss's office. You're one lucky fellow. <laughs> you can't say I don't treat you well, Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah. Speak, you moron. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, very well. Uh, why are you... Shh. C calm down. How long have you worked for me, Jimmy? Three, 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 three months. Three months. Oh, yeah. I hired you right after your cousin Martin died. I need your opinion. How would you punish someone for ruining an innocent man's life with a hit and run, Jimmy? I, I don't know. And tell me, what about you, Wilson? What would you do? No, no, please, please, please. I didn't um, do anything, I swear. Okay, let's save him. O'Leary, the police have surrounded him. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we're not saving Jimmy. <laughs> you can't say I don't treat you well, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Speak, you moron. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, very well. Uh, why are you... Shh. C calm down. How long have you worked for me, Jimmy? Three, 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 three months. Three months. Oh, yeah. I hired you right after your cousin Martin died. I need your opinion. How would you punish someone for ruining an innocent man's life with a hit and run, Jimmy? I, I don't know. And tell me, what about you, Wilson? What would you do? <laughs> no, please, please, please. Yeah, I, I should feel a bit anything, silly now. He was a good guy. 
<laughs> of course, you already knew that. You knew him better than me, right? <laughs> he was my cousin. I. That's why I hired you, Jimmy. You see, Martin was a dear friend. And his widow said you were a nice kid. That you'd do a good job and you needed the money. And I, I have a soft spot for those in need. Please. But, uh, you know what? I talked to her just yesterday. She told us you did some naughty things to her with that gun, Jimmy. No, no, no. That's no way to treat a widow, is it? <laughs> She's lying. Why would I do that? Try the same. Leave him alone, O'Leary. No one deserves to die. Not uh, okay. <laughs> Looks like you do. Do we have to like watch the whole frigging scene again? He was a good guy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep on trying to save Jimmy, that. no you matter the times me, right? that I will die during the <laughs> process. My cousin. I... That's why I hired you, Jimmy. You see, Martin was a dear friend. And his widow said you were a nice kid. That you'd do a good job and you needed the money. And I, I have a soft spot for those in need. Please. But, uh, you know what? I talked to her just yesterday. She told us you did some naughty things to her with that gun, Jimmy. No, no, no. That's no way to treat a widow, is it? Okay, stay put. She's lying. Why would I do that? What about the kid? Are you so sure you know how long a kid can hold his breath? With his little head inside a toilet bowl? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hey, risk your life. To. Let's go. It was his idea. Surely this time. Leave him alone, O'Leary. You can't just take... <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> Surely we can save, kid? save Jimmy at some point. Are you so sure you know how long a kid can hold his breath? With his little head inside a toilet bowl? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I didn't want to. It was his idea. <clears throat> Selfishly, I was glad I hadn't risked my life to save Jimmy. Wow. Maybe not even someone like him deserves to die. But... One could also argue that I didn't deserve to die for someone like him. <laughs> oh, Black said, if Who's you only boss? knew. Give me a name! Cassidy. It was his idea. He said you'd hired me if I'd managed to scare the widow, and I just... All right, all right. Let's just... <laughs> calm down now. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Okay, all we're is gonna shoot. Two sacred principles that rule my life. The first principle is the love for my family. I do anything to protect them. Oh. The second principle I never put my future in the hands of fate. I always play it nice and safe. And I would even add a third principle, or better yet, a rule. If anything threatens either of these two crucial principles, I take matters into my own hands. You see where this is going? For the first time, I got someone killed. Even though all I really did was rat him out. No, I, no, 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 I just... Stop I, interrupting I, me, Jimmy. No. It's not polite. Sorry. We're all the same. So rude. You know what? Let's leave it at that. 
You're going to give a message to that disgusting walrus Cassidy, aren't you? Yeah, 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 sure. Whatever you say. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Good boy. What? 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 what, what, what what's the message? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Yeah. You still don't get it, do you? You are the message. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Come on. Wrap him up. Make sure Cassidy gets the message for breakfast, will you? I hope he chokes on it. Got it. Did he say I hope he chokes on it? Hmm, where are you hiding, little fishy? Once again, you didn't get to hear the end of my story. Also, now we know why the, why there were so many carpets. Hmm. Where's the red panda? Hmm. Still at the main door? <clears throat> Doesn't feel right, doesn't it? Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Uh, ring the bell. What? Just where do you think you're going, putty kiss? <laughs> Two sacred principles rule my life. Oh, wait, what? The first is... The love I feel for my family. The second. You always play it safe. I you always, always play, play it safe. It. You think you're funny, don't you, Black Sad? Oh. <laughs> okay. Whoa. I'm like dying all over. Two sacred principles rule my life. The, the love, love I feel for, feel for. What is going on today? Okay. Better be like. Better be quiet. Two than I sacred think. principles rule my life. The first is the love I feel for my family. The second. Never leave destiny in the hands of fate. I always play it nice and safe. And I'd even add a third principle, or better yet, a rule. If anything threatens either of these two principles, I take matters into my own hands. The first time that someone died because of me, even though all I did was rat him out, well, that guy ended up in the Hudson River, right off Pier 27. He's got to be even wetter than that fish by now. <laughs> you should have seen his face. It's but interesting what comes to mind when you think you're about to die. Suddenly all I could think about was how much I wanted a pet fish. You too, Bruce? Anyway, I was 14 years old, and I still dream about it. But it's a widow, and it sucks. By then, I was yeah, adamant sure about buying a fish. But, but first... That was that. Never again. Nowadays, whether it's me who pulls the trigger or not, I have zero regrets. What's more, I sort of enjoy it. Okay. Um. In case anyone had any doubts about who's the boss around here, I'll put my dirty feet on his luxurious table to prove that all of this is mine. Sign of dominance. The guy never hesitates to pull the trigger. Even if I hadn't seen what he did to Jimmy, I'd know he's not bluffing. Hey, okay. else the family photo? When a mob boss declares his love of family, it can only mean that 
A, he won't hesitate to ruin yours, and B, he's cheating on his wife. Okay, and the last one is the eye. His pupils are dilated, and there's a slight grin on his face. The bastard is enjoying himself. I knew I had it in me to get out of that place alive. Oh, really? How do we do this? Oh, we have to deduct something. Okay, there's like four. Um... Okay, it's probably this and... Wait a minute. Was it O'Leary's wife? No. O'Leary's wife is having an affair with Colbert? Should I serve this to O'Leary on a silver platter? <clears throat> or threaten Colbert so he'll get me out of this mess? And, well, that's it, I oh, think. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> you know, Black Sad, I never made it this far. Congratulations, you're going in style. Um, yeah, let's try to keep everyone alive here. I didn't want to interrupt you because I respect you and your word. Colbert told me to come here. What? Me? No way! You did what? Colbert? When? Oh, uh, well, uh... Mm. On the phone? Yeah, remember? When I called you on the phone. Don't you remember that cocky drunk guy? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, banging another guy's wife. I like think that's you like bragging about how he was banging another guy's wife. Oh? Oh yeah, weird times, huh? Yeah, and you congratulated me for finding Yale and saving your life several times. Um, you assured that O'Leary would thank me. Really? Then you assured me that O'Leary would thank me. Well, I didn't put it that way, but yeah. And then you told me to come here to ask the boss himself. Yeah, I think you deserve it. Right, Desmond? Oh, black sad, black sad, black sad. Thank you. And sorry for jumping to conclusions. That was close. First, you get a random beating from my men. And now this. Although you have to admit I had my reasons to be suspicious, you ran away from Yale's apartment, didn't you? But as you well know, you can't trust anyone in this world. Take it. It's only fair. Mm. I want to place a bet on Sonia Dunn's behalf. I want to bet it all on the fight, on Sonia Dunn's behalf. Oh, what a romantic you are. We listen, if you call it listening, to the sentimental romance. Mm, if you say so. I guess, if you say so. Same difference. Anyway, go ahead, place your bet. Uh, Yale wins. I bet it all on Yale. <laughs> oh, Black Sad. Aren't these odd hours to pay me a visit? Your message was important, but certainly not urgent. It could have waited until tomorrow, don't you think? Mm, cats and wolves hunt at night. We cats and wolves hunt at night. Again, that was like, seriously some intense stuff. Jeez. This is also turning out to be a very long episode. I wish I was a noir fiction writer. At this very moment I could write a couple of pointed, ironic remarks for the narrator to recount what I just lived through. The dark, crooked alleys of New York reminded me of the state of my own soul. Hmm. 
No. Fall loomed over me with the... Fall struck me with the full force of my long-lost youth. Nah, not that. Oh, oh what? Fall descended over me with the full weight of a guilty conscience. God, that's worse. What the hell is happening here? What were you thinking? He wants him alive! Mm, okay, we have to... Okay. I felt fall seep through my bones like the pain of a good beating. <laughs> Mediocre, but appropriate. I wonder whose talks those were. Yeah, was not expecting that to happen. Somebody wants us to leave the case alone. Oh, that's Helen, isn't it? Against all odds, next morning I got up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And I had my kind, unknown assailants to thank. The beating had taken its toll, but for the first time in months, I had slept like a baby. Oh, come on, Helen, focus! All right, take five. We'll work on that double backhand later. FBI, whoa. I think that doesn't mean what it actually means. Well... Mr. Blackmore... Oh, it's a fake, okay. What can I do for the FBI? Um... Uh, we want you to cooperate with law enforcement. Cooperate with law enforcement? All you have to do is talk. I like to speak through my actions, but still, could you be more specific? Okay, I have to pause for a second because, damn, that was like, really intense stuff there. Jeez. We couldn't save Jimmy. We learned tons of information about people. And I think there's like, Four deductions to do. And yeah, we almost got ourselves killed by O'Leary. But we framed Colbert and somehow made made it out alive. And yeah, now we're here. Interviewing Helen Moore. Cheapers. This is gonna be a bit longer episode. I'm gonna like end it soonish. We'll see this goes but this game really doesn't give you any breather here does it maybe if we could speak in private Alec coming that doesn't mean private. You've got four minutes, Mr. Blackmore, so... Make them count. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's start with O'Leary. We know about you and Desmond O'Leary. Wow, the FBI sure knows what it's doing. So, out of the 100 million Americans who know about that, who did you extort to get such highly confidential information? The thing is, well... You see, I'd love to wipe out that part of my past, but whatever. Past, you, Do you say? Have any regrets? Ads pay more than trophies. Can you believe it? Being associated with such a shady character can only damage my reputation. Trust me, never get involved with a married man. 
well, what about this fake relationship with Stone? They say you're currently involved with Al Stone, the boxer. Is that correct? Wow, your sagacity never ceases to amaze me. Don't beat around the bush. We know why you're with him. Oh, so you like his biceps too. Desmond O'Leary asked you to seduce Stone. Why? What? No, I met Al by chance at a party. A party hosted by Desmond O'Leary. How convenient. No, that can't be. No <clears throat> one is that shrewd. Not even him. Damn, I hate that bastard. Oh. So, you didn't know, actually. Okay, what about rigged games? We're aware of at least six rigged games during your first year as a professional player. And? You won all of them. Are you trying to offend me? I give my all on the court. I can't be held accountable if my rivals don't do the same. Go interrogate them. In any case, now I know why you mentioned O'Leary. What do you really have against him? And don't say illegal gambling. <laughs> mm. you, oh, I'm sorry, whoa. but I can't reveal that information. Oh, okay, maybe that's like a better option. <laughs> I'm serious, Miss Moore. America can't afford to let anyone shake its foundations like that. And America's sweetheart can't afford it either. Help us out. Talk to us. And why should I, Mr. Blackmore? What do I stand to gain or lose? Um... Out of sheer patron. Okay, FBI always returns a favor. The FBI always returns a favor. But we're not FBI. Oh, yeah? Are they gonna rig my games? This is actually quite simple. Okay. What do we have here? One lucky gal. Mm, O'Leary's mark. What else do we have here? I love you now and forever. You have a light, sir? <laughs> the pearly white teeth of someone who barely smokes. Am I making her nervous? Damn. I'm almost out of fluid. Want to know my trick? Go down to start, then up with it, and then down again. Okay. Oh. Will I get to smoke today? <laughs> Hold on just a second. Thanks. There we go. I don't know what you want me to say. You're trying to frame O'Leary, perhaps rightfully so, but I think you're barking up the wrong tree. Believe me. If I had the slightest... Come on, Helen. <sighs> Time to work on your backhand. Let's go. <sighs> Do you smoke? Nice meeting you, Mr. Blackmore. Did you bring my water? There was so many, like, contradictions there. She says that she hates O'Leary, but with a cigarette gaze, being like, I love you kind of stuff. Interesting. America's sweetheart gave you her cigarette? Dear God, she has the hots for you! I can't believe you said good old weekly to investigate that stupid walrus while you were hanging out with Helen Moore herself! So, what do you say you and me, we change places next time, huh? Your turn. Now tell me, what did you find out? Ah, you're gonna love this. You ready? I've got news, but I happen to also have a pla- Sorry, Weekly. Black Sad. Huh? Oh, oh, Mrs. Colbert. When you told me about my husband, I kicked him out. But this morning he came back with a bouquet of roses and asked me to forgive him. He said he had some kind of big scare 
yesterday, and that he hasn't stopped thinking about me since. He wants to take me to Niagara Falls on a second honeymoon. And? I threw the roses in his face, and I told him to shove Niagara Falls up his ass. <laughs> you think I could forget what he's done just like that? Now you're talking. Well done. Now you're talking. You saved my life, Mr. Black said. Send me the bill when you can. This is certainly the best investment I've ever made. Uh, but what just happened? Is there anything you didn't tell me? Maybe. But now it's your turn. Tell me about Cassidy. Uh, 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 Come on, spit it out. I, I didn't find anything suggesting that Cassidy had anything to do with Dunn's murder, but... That's quite the tale. But I know Cassidy will be playing poker tonight with one Howard M. Farnham II, a Texas tycoon looking to get his claws on the boxing business. I also know that he and Cassidy have never met <clears throat> in person, and that Farnham, who's staying at the Balford Hotel, hasn't left his room. Apparently, he spent the night with three bottles of bourbon. Oh, so, that's a lot. here's my incredible plan. I'll go to the hotel. <laughs> I'd knock him out. Huh. And then take his place in the poker game. That way, I'll get Cassidy talking. What do you think? Incredible, right? Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Didn't we agree that you would handle Helen more while I dealt with Cassidy next time? No? Oh, Weekly. Okay, so new player enters the arena. Farnham. I'm just gonna check here. What's that like? Auto save there. Let's see how this works. Yeah, there's the weekly conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna end the episode there. Should continue like right here if I assumed correctly. Let's see. Yeah, this is the weekly conversation. Oh, this is actually really cool. Like a comic book. Damn. Yeah. That was a big, big chunk of Blackside there. Really interesting stuff. I mean... I think... I have like too many theories in my head. Like... Way too many. Um, so yeah, at the moment, there's like literally everyone could be the suspect, but there's definitely something bigger going on. I'm still leaning towards that O'Leary has nothing to do with this. He just want to make, wants to make money on Dunn. Yeah, Sonia is... Probably innocent. She loved her father, like, really. Jake is... There could be something dark on Jake, Jake's past or something. But the Ronald, the bear who Jake was fighting, that's one suspicious bear. His knuckles were a bit bruised, but we didn't get any information on that. Wouldn't be too surprised if we, like, pump into Ronald. At a later time. Also, then was the attack on the alleyway. <clears throat> I wonder whose thugs those were. So many things going on here. Like, this episode, like, exploded. Everything. There's like a million different weaves of ropes, whatever, going on places. This kind of reminds me of the meme at the moment, like, the dude with billboard and or whiteboard, what whatever was it, and theorizing about all that stuff, you know. So yeah, if you have some cool theories, 
let me know down in the comments and let's discuss about who's the murderer. But remember, no spoilers. <laughs> yeah, if you enjoyed the content and made this far in this big chunk, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode when we go and some poker. <laughs>